Hey y'all, welcome to Real Little Britain folks. Tonight I've got another beer for you. And this one comes from Sirencraft and it's part of their Calypso range. Alright? 4% ABV. Now, this beer, what you need to do is you need to check online to see what type of beer this is. The one I had, the Calypso last night, was a barrel aged cucumber beer. Um, and it says here this is DPFRT. Now I went online and I can't find it. So that means this is a blind Calypso beer brewed with whatever. So really looking forward to trying it to see if I can guess what this beer is like. So we're going to crack this bad boy open and we're going to see exactly what it's like. So again, as most sarin beers have, it's got that lovely smokiness. I'm going to pour it into my sarin glass. Oh, look at that. So obviously it's some type of red berry. So the beer is poured with a uh, medium carbonation. Hopefully we can get it all in there, folks. There we go. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Let me see if we can get that sarin craft in there too. Probably not because they're... Their, pint, their glasses are not the best, to be honest. But that is poured with um, good carbonation. It's half a finger head, and it's got this blood orange tinge. Um, it's very much like a grapefruit pink as well, uh, with a little yellow tinge to it. So let's go straight in with the nose. So on the nose, you're picking up lemons. You pick up a little bit of raspberry. You're picking up dry wheat. And it's like very, very, um, it's like pressed gooseberries. Now this is a barrel mean um, wheat beer. Um, and that's what their Calypso beers are. And to be honest, I'm a big fan of them, especially on keg. I find them very, very refreshing. Thirst quenching and palate cleansing as well. We're going to go straight in. Cheers. Whoa. So the first thing I get, it's barrel aged. You're getting that oakiness. <clears throat> You're getting that deep woodiness. There's raspberries, there's like limes. It's, des it's definitely raspberries. There's that wonderful soreness you always get with that burning leaf. Oh, I can hardly pronounce it. It's a uh, burn liner weiss. Um, and you get that wonderful dryness. It's like dry wheat and it leaves an oiliness inside of the palate. Um, but this 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 to me is, you know, it's like your sour champagne of the world. But this is better. There's a light lemon citrus burst. Uh, it's very much like um, the sharpness of lemon juice, but there's got lemon pith in it. This is the first Saren Craft beer which has got this um, colour which I've seen in the range. But I actually really, really enjoy it. It's something different. It's something which separates the rest of the beer range. There's a light cooling mechanism to the beer too, very much like mint. Um, but to be honest, that's about it. So what's the finish like? The finish is lightly malted. It's got wheat leaving that oiliness and then set a palate. It's got um, raspberry notes, which is leaving a, a dry sharpness. It's also got some citrus lemon notes. Um, and then it's got that wonderful, wonderful, light, sour, but quite deep bitterness to the beer. What do I give Sarah Craft for their Calypso? Their dry hopped uh, Berlin Ruiz. Um, and now this is their BPFRT version, whatever that is. I checked online, couldn't find it. You tell me. Um, so what do I give it? Folks, it's a 9 out of 10 for me. It's a 9 out of 10. It is a really, really good beer. That is a 
Sandcraft Brews, their Calypso, their DPFRT. Cheers, Slamatara.